Hello, I am Dishan from 2 d 2 bim In this video, I am going to show you how to control the void visibility in family. By default, you cannot control the void visibility in Revit, but some simple trick you can do. I will show you how to do. Thank you. You can download all the exercise files from my website 2 d 2 bimcom and please visit, I will provide the link in the description. Thank you. To demonstrate this uh, video, I will open a generic model in family. Find the generic model here. Open. Once open, you want to make a rectangle shape. Use the reference plane, both sides like this and dimension it with equal equal so it always remain equal sorry equal to the center then put the overall dimension also the same will do for the depth also now you make parameters for that should be width it should be depth put in type parameter no problem now we'll just try to flex it and put the actual dimension thousand by thousand working now we make one more uh, parameter called height to define the height just take the dimension from the, from the reference plane give it the parameter name height also type dimension type parameter with 500 as a value okay now go to reference level start making the model by using extrusion select the uh, reference lines make sure you are locking that one then just trim it Okay, we we'll go to front view, attach this to the reference plane and lock it. It's okay. Just give the name as a top because we are making a, a circle over there to cut the to our model our void as a circle. Just make this set, set this work plane as a top with the void or reference line so circle with 250. Select this and make dimension permanent. Select that, add a parameter radius type parameter no problem just change the scale it's much more readable now select the word extrusion make sure you are locking oops I didn't set the work plane as the top so I'll go back and set the work plane when you select it so, ok select it just give it 50 for now it won't cut the rectangle shape because it is extruded up we need to extrude down to cut the uh, rectangle we'll go to the 
family types and parameter like void height on when void height on just make it type parameter add one more just say void height of you can put any name you if you like as you like but uh, I just keep it as a for just a reference only when you void height off you just give a minus value of the height then it will cut the all the way to down you get minus height you get minus 500 whatever your height it will be the minus so it will clean cut all the way all the way now you have one more parameter void instance and should be yes no parameter put it in the visibility okay and add one more parameter should be void height so this parameter will be driven by this void on of make an instance also for that we give a formula using if Just copy that for ease, ease of use. So once, let's say if void is on, then the dimension will activate void on, and if off, then void off. It's very simple. Now we give this to okay like this void height okay now it's cutting to see that make it shaded cut is nice very nice and off boom so off Now you try make a, try to upload this project. Check if it's working or not. Just upload. Put it here. Put it here. Ready? I'll make it two, but you can make only one. Select wall. Oh, it's cutting. Wow. So very nice way you can control that. so thank you for watching guys please subscribe my channel and share the video and like also and 